for the lucky few of us who still have a large amount of old Modicon 984 compacts in their facility. Getting online with these can be really exciting. <laughs> and uh, there's a large variety of them out there. This is one of the smallest. This is an A984-120. And I wanted to show you the battery that it comes with. This is uh, an LS14250 3.6 volt battery. And it goes in button out right here. You can do it live, it's all right. Pop it in, depress it, and then slide the lid down. And you can see my bat low sign is off. And now I wanna show you in the screen capture what happens when you leave these things laying around without um, their battery in them or a dead battery because they go into what's called dim awareness and what that really means is they're completely flushed and there's nothing in them at all there's no database there's no logic there's no nothing so uh, these are a little these are a little bit different in a lot of ways from Allen Bradley PLCs or from even other kinds. They don't have a single project file. There's a large number of files that get created by um, a Modicon uh, PLC. And there's a lot of software. Uh, I use ProWorks NXT. A lot of guys like Taylor, which is uh, like an old DOS program. It's like a blue black blue background and it's you can tell it's DOS. Um, cabling is really important on these, okay? Um, right now, uh, because of a length issue, I can only run ProWorks NXT on um, a Windows XP computer. So, it will not be this laptop, it will not be this computer here, it will be this computer over here. This has XP installed on it, and uh, I'll be showing you on screen capture what to deal do to deal with this dim awareness situation Back over to here Cabling is really important right now. I have set up this cable and I, essentially it's These are probably not necessary this cable is built for a slightly different purpose but internally to these connectors inside that connector there is this jumper and there's this jumper and then the other side the same thing and so there's some jumpers inside the other head as well and then the, the actual um, cable only has three wires in it okay uh, that is what I have in there right now and it's not going to work um, for initializing this PLC which is in dim awareness okay so it's gonna you're gonna see in the screen capture it says hey I'm in dim awareness um, would you like to dump something in there and I'm gonna say okay and it's gonna say hey you can't because you're not logged in or something to that effect that is because of this cable okay what I'm going to do after that is I'm gonna, ultimately I'm gonna change to a, another cable all right now this cable here has this pin out okay so you can see four to six but not one and then five five to five and one on the female end okay and then seven and eight are tied together all right so this cable here this is gonna work and I'm gonna break the, I'm gonna be coming back and forth between uh, screen capture so I'm not gonna do all this in one shot but this is how you get an, an old Modicon started up you don't have to put that battery in uh, you only have to put the battery in if you're gonna be losing power okay so here we go first thing we're gonna try this and I'm show you how it doesn't work
Okay, we're back with the Dim Awareness PLC that's completely wiped out. All right, I've changed cables. The original cable that I was using that was giving me that um, command not valid unless logged in is this one here with this pinout. And I've changed to a new cable. All right, and there's the tag right there. This is the cable that's gonna work, okay? Now, if you have a PLC like, let me grab one. If you have, say, an E984265 type, and this is what you see, you see a Modbus Plus with nine pin, and then your Modbus are, um, say you need to use Modbus, but your Modbuses are RJ45 jacks like you see there. You can use something like this, okay? This is a made cable. Basically, we took an ethernet cable and we chopped it and we put uh, this, uh, it's like an amp type kit on it. Amp style connector nine pin. And the pin out for this guy is right here, okay? Oops, come on, buddy. All right, there you go. I want you to have that because you're gonna need it. You can see it's very similar, okay? This does work, okay? This does work for this dim awareness scenario. All right, so back to the computer and you're gonna see what I have to do. Now, what I have to really do is uh, usually I have to create a program, create a new, a new project for this style PLC because these these different models have different amounts of data. You can see here, two Modbus, one Modbus plus uh, 8K logic, 16K data, all right? So this stuff, uh, these are, the different models are all different. Wow, profound. All right, there's your Modbus address stuff. We're not gonna deal with Modbus plus, sorry, Modbus plus address node dials we're not going to do anything with those but they exist they're for modbus plus and then the rest of the switches and things maybe we'll get to it other days but back to the computer and we're going to try to get this guy to uh talk again we're going to be able to get online with him and make some edits logic changes okay okay so let's go ahead and we're going to just do a file new and we're going to call this Jim uh, A120. We're going to make a new project called Jim 1A20. And let's just make, let's just get some stuff in there. Controller address one on this mod bus we have assigned it as controller one. Okay. Now, what kind is it? Well, it's a compact. All right. There's all different kinds of controllers, and it's an A120. Okay. You may have a slight naming convention difference because, well, this is not. Schneider software, this is ProWorks NXT. So you can see total logic in the controller. We're not online. This is just preloaded. They just know this. <clears throat> All right, there's some information about the Modbus port. And then there's some generic information, number of coils, number of registers. All right, so now we have it. We have a new project. So what we need to do is write it to the controller. So we have our correct cable. We are all set up. We've got the GMA120 going to destination one, which is address one. You can hit net scan if you want, and it will go out there and figure out what's going on. And you can see we're interrogating device numbers. 
generally this is this is nice if you don't know what's going on but if you do know what address you're at you don't need to do this at all I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't know how long it's going to take all right so this is a write to the controller it verifies and you hit write and off it goes and does its thing when this is done we're going to have to go up to controller and say start controller write complete excellent now let's go up here and just hit start controller yes and in the I'll switch back to the phone and you'll see that it is actually running Just a real quick follow-up there that once we told the controller to start it we have a run light and you can see I'm not currently talking to it on the Modbus connection so no Modbus light but if I were to go online we would definitely have a Modbus light 